morning, everyone. How are we? Haley here. It is 9.57 on Tuesday, February 9th. Um, I am going to get ready so quickly today. I just thought this would be fun because we had so much fun last week when I went live doing my makeup. I don't have 45 minutes like I did last week uh, because Lee and I are about to head to Danville for a really fun Facebook Live. Um, so I, of course, I'm running behind. So I am going to get ready really quick. I already uh, dried my hair and kind of blew it out a little bit. So now it's time to get ready. How are we this morning, everyone? Hello, Stephanie. Noah's fantastic mother. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the good stuff. Move this mirror over here. Um, how is everyone this morning? So we're going to Danville because we just started a new social media partnership with an awesome local business there. So tune in to the Lee and Haley Facebook page later today because we will be on there telling you all about it. Good morning, Frank Coy. Hello, Zora Pennington. I'm putting on this Borghese Roma, like highlighting primer. <laughs> I brought Ollie with me to work today and he's rolling around on the floor like grumbling and grunting. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> what are you doing? I love this even more. So it's the Wet n Wild liquid foundation. They have it in stick form. It's the Wet n Wild photo focus, but it's a stick, which I love. So zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. You just put her on. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And then blend it in. Johnny Fisher. Did you ever buy Lee a new driver? No, he wouldn't let me. And I think the only reason he wouldn't let me, A, I think he felt sorry for me, but B, I think he didn't let me only because, or wouldn't let me only because he wanted to hold that over my head forever. He is an evil, evil little man. No, I think he just felt bad for me, but he just got the other one fixed. It wasn't like completely gone. What was the name of the lip liner you used on your first makeup video? It was by the brand Jordana, which if you guys saw my stories recently, I posted that um, they closed. I went to go find you guys a link to the lip liner. It's Jordana. I used to get it at Walgreens, and I should have known. They stopped selling it in stores, and you could only get it online. Well, then I looked on their website, and it says they closed the brand on December 31st. But apparently their sister company is Milani. Which, <laughs> Greg Bush, this looks painful. The only painful part of Greg is working with Lee Cruz. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, I don't really like, oh, here comes Lee. I'm sure he's gonna come bust in, in here with a bone to pick. You gotta clean out the corners, everyone. You must. I haven't had time to wet this today, so I'm going in dry, so it's not gonna work as well, but whatever. Lisa Perry Nevels, I was able to order it from Walgreens. Oh, good. So it was Jordana. I can't remember the name of the product, but the color I used was Rock and Rose. Yeah, so apparently they have, so their company closed, but I guess they're, you know, they had made a bunch before they closed. So I think you can still get it on Walgreens. I love that lip liner so much. I'm not exaggerating right now. I have probably 12 of them in a drawer between my house and the office because I used to buy it in bulk because it was so cheap and I never wanted to run out. So that's gonna be good, but in like six months, I'm gonna be devastated because I'm gonna be out. Uh, it's not good. Okay, so I'm going in with the translucent powder. got to be less rough with my skin. It's so hard. What are you using under the eye? Um, it was a concealer. I'll just go ahead and tell you guys, but like I said, I don't really like it. It's Maybelline Fit Me concealer. It's just okay. I'm not going to repurchase it. It just doesn't exactly cover up everything that I need to cover up. So now I'm going in with loose powder. It's Maybelline Fit Me as well. I'll go over the rest of the face with it. And I'm running low on this. This is what my staff hears most days. Enjoy. I for sure thought y'all had makeup people. That's what Debbie Smith-Stroud says. Okay, I think I started to get into this last week. So apparently, 
almost all local TV stations used to have a makeup artist. I don't know if that's true. But when I got into this business, when I graduated from college in 2010, that was only two years after the recession. And having a hair and makeup person was <laughs> no longer an essential. So that was one of the things that got cut at most TV stations um, then, and it's just not come back. Pretty much you have to work in like New York, LA, Dallas, something like that. Um, in order to get your makeup done every day. Okay, so this is something that I do that's really quick. Okay, so this is one of those julep eye sticks. This is the color bronze shimmer. When I'm in a hurry, you just go whoop, 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 and just kind of draw it on there. And then same thing yeah, yeah. on the other eye. And then you take the spongy part and go whoop, and you just kind of blend in those edges. You never want harsh lines. And so it's a cream to powder. No, I just gotta take my finger over it. See how it blends in so nice? So it dries pretty quick. Done. Okay. I always keep a paper towel down here that I wipe my hands on, I wipe my products on, everything like that. Okay. Lisa Perry Nevels, are you engaged? I am, I am. And I'm thinking about soon doing some like meet my fiance type content and videos and stuff because a lot of you have been asking. And for some personal reasons and just, you know, I, I don't know. We just haven't really shared that or talked too much about it or I haven't on this channel and so I really want to. Um, so stay tuned, maybe I'll do some of that soon. You guys can meet him. Um, Kimberly Keller, your ring is gorgeous. Thank you so much, I love it. <laughs> okay, I gotta focus. What am I doing? Bronzer, butter bronzer in the shade, bronzer. <laughs> Creative name by the folks at Physicians Formula. And then again, anywhere that God's bright sunshine might hit your stupid face. Sorry, that's what I say to myself. It's that positive self-talk that gets you through the day. You gotta go under here. And then in the winter time especially, you gotta hit the neck because your neck is, well, my neck is so pale. And when I put foundation and bronzer and stuff on. Thank you guys for saying congrats. I appreciate it. Um, okay. I never do my eyeliner or mascara until after I get done with all my powder products. Blush, Milani, Luminoso. It looks crazy right now, but as I said last time, my face eats makeup, and so, or eats blush. It's like it just disappears, so I put on a lot. Highlighter, Wet n' Wild powder in the color Precious Petals. What is this called? Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, and then I put it across the brow bone as well. Done. So it was so funny when I used to do the morning show. I always did morning shows. At all three TV stations where I worked before this, I was always on the morning show. Loved it. But <laughs> you learn how to do your makeup in like two dang seconds because, I mean, you want to get those last 10 minutes of sleep. So even if that means you are literally booking it the entire time. I'm only going ahead and putting liner on the waterline because I'm about to go on Facebook and do a live shoot or whatnot. So... Um, anyway, you get it. As I said last time, I don't usually put it under there until TV because it'll run and it just looks crappy. But anyway, you learn how to do your makeup so quick on the morning show. So this is actually kind of slow for me. I used to knock it out. Our show at the old place started at 4.30. I used to not get in the makeup room to do my hair or my makeup till like 4.10. I don't know how I did it. And then I have anxiety. Why would I set myself up for that? Having to rush and being so stressed. That's something I'm really working on is to, yes, I have really bad anxiety, but stop setting myself up for failure with it. Like doing things that I know ah, cause more anxiety. Okay. <laughs> Carolyn Shore, you use too many products. Carolyn Doll, that's your opinion. I disagree. I love all the products and I think it's so fun. But if you don't want to use this many, honey child, you don't have to. Ooh, look at that. Okay. 
Ooh, that's a good wing. Some days it just works out. The eyeliner gods are like, yes, honey, today you're doing it. It's hard to talk when you do this. Uh-oh, classic mistake, went way thicker on this eye. All right, done, cool. Now, man, talking about putting on makeup, it's kind of stressful. Love you, boo, let's watch you all day. Thank you, Monty. You look good with no makeup. Thank you, Donna, that's very sweet. I've always been a makeup girl though. Like I have always just loved it. And honestly, the other day I was thinking about how did I learn how to do my makeup? Because when I grew up and was learning how to do it, there was no like YouTube. There were no tutorials. There were no, you know, beauty bloggers or whatever. And so honestly, I can't remember. And isn't that terrible? It wasn't that, you know, long ago but I think I learned how to do my makeup my mom always showed me how she did hers my mom's fantastic at her makeup but then also I swear I used to just look at pictures of celebrities from award shows and then read 17 magazine I had a subscription to 17 and I would like read the articles and then I just did it and I used to do my makeup the same every single day for high school Pretty much done. Gotta knock out this spoolie. Come in. Hey, buddy. Good morning, Lee. Oh, we're live again. Oh. Yes, I've been just telling lots of secrets about you and anything you want to say? Well, we gotta go. I don't know. You know that. That's why I'm getting ready. Okay. Then we, you got to record something, you know that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I have lost my wallet. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah, I was just treated for anxiety and stress. I went to go pay for that treatment, and I lost my wallet. So guess what that brought about? That treatment lasted five seconds. Now I'm freaked out, and the anxiety's through the roof. You have no idea where it is? I don't. Did you go back home? Did you check your... I haven't gone back home. I got to go to Danville. Did you check your pants pocket? Can I? You, you cannot, can I interrupt? You cannot strike me. <laughs> yeah. She, what kind of dumb question is that? You know how disrespectful that question was? Yes. Did I check my pants pocket? Of course I checked my pants pocket, even though I just did, just in case. I don't want to be stupid. But I didn't. I don't have it. Kim says, A, you need to check your pocket, and B, you're only doing this because you want me to buy your lunch. You're going to have to buy our lunch. Jeez. Cheese and rice. Okay. All right, what are you working on today? Lee looks like Matt Bevan's mini-me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, everybody thinks they're a comic. Yes, they do. Even you. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning. It's over already? It's over, yeah. I just had to get ready really quick. You look nice. So do you. <laughs> Feels weird. Okay, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Again, Lee and I are about to go to Danville to do a Facebook Live at a local business. So um, tune into the Lee and Haley page. How do I finish? Oh, here we are.